Hey guys, I'm back. There's a second part of your file uploading with progress bar by backhand PHP. In this first part, we have created an index.html page. We will create we have created a progress bar, a form. Now we will we will code the JavaScript and Ajax for sending the data for receiving the data from the upload.php page that how much file has been uploaded okay for this go to your ending of your body tag use a script a script tag open it we will first we will create a function 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 i name it dollar 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 id id and we will return return document dot get element by id id and id i'm coding this because i don't want to use document dot get element id by over and over and over every time because it's make our page look more it's it seems like we have written more javascript because javascript is a language which have objects and objects which have properties we use dot notations the etc that's why I'm using that. It looks similar like jQuery because we use a dollar. We can reference document dot get element id by dollar, and we will provide our id here. First, I will uh, for um, for showing how it's work. I will show you console dot log. I will do a console dot log and take uh, uh, collect collect it and show our dollar element. Select the id of our form <laughs> hit run ok and we will press enter we will use see our console we get the form we get all all the forms and all the properties of our forms its child nodes its children its classlets class name it don't have a class name because we haven't used a class that's the function that's used ok it get our form element we don't have to write document dot get element by id we simply write dollar and pass the id it will return the document dot get element by id okay we will use a window we'll create another function and i will name that function function upload upload function we will not give any parameters or argument we will simply alert something alert hello okay and we will wait for the window in the window object we will add and add ev event listener add event add event listener on window whenever the window load loaded we will fire up function which is name upload and we will give the third parameter false because for the for right bubbling of the add event listener okay we will Oh, it's alerted hello whenever the window document has been loaded it fired the upload event okay that's all we will do a add event listener for whenever the our form which uh, form dollar dollar form dot add events listener dot submit whenever the form has been submitted we will prevent we will give a parameter e here e for event event dot prevent default this function is used for preventing the default behavior of our form the default behavior of our form is that it's reload the page and it's send our data to the upload.php page it take the web page to the upload.php page we don't want to go there we have to stay here and ensure real time uploading data okay whenever the form is submitted we have selected a form from its id whenever a form is submitted we add a add event li uh, event listener and first we, we will listen for submit whenever the submit done we will use upload we will prevent the form from submission in the upload function and alert form uploaded okay it's for demo we'll refresh it we will select anything will upload okay form uploaded the, you see have uh, we have a, our page haven't been reloaded okay i think we have sh we should remove the width from the progress bar span okay we should be 
no we should not remove it we should we should give it with zero percent okay okay it's fine we will do we'll make a variable file we will uh, variable file is equal to we will select the file file by its id the fi id file id its file one dot we will choose its files array files array because array is zero index and we have uh, the only file only file tag in our document we will use zero okay zero and we can console dot log file and we can see what our file is uploaded I will show you in one second okay so we will open our console by creating uh, clicking shift shift control I in a, in a PC okay I'm, I'm on a PC that's why it gives return the file array it is an all the information about the file our name of the file is 1811 blah 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 and it's have a si uh, size of 68 kilobytes it's type of j it's a JPEG image it's give all the details of our image okay now we will make <coughs> now we can we will make another variable which name form data data form data is equal to new form data it's a object is a object notation in a is object in JavaScript okay we will append now in the form data variable which is new a new form data we will append our file we will append our file our file is file one you we have given file one ID to our file we'll use file one here and file one yeah and we will use its files file okay it's done now we will create a variable we'll create a global variable var hx is equal to xml http reqes request xml uh, uh, req xml http request it's the f it's the awesomest object which do a ajax request to a server this object is responsible for all the interactivity which is going on in uh, in nowadays in a web page okay now we will we'll uh, as we know the program our server our server we will not directly upload the file it will send some of the bits to the file then some more bits then some more bits in that way the file has been uploaded to a server that's why we listen we will listen for the ajax ajax and we will listen in this xml HTTP request object we will listen for some of the some of the four four things i will show you that we will add a load load event and upload sorry load upload upload dot add event listener we we'll use it progress progress function we will make it function a progress make a function progress handler we will as a false attach a false there we will wait for another listener we will add another listener ajax dot add event listener dot load load function is whenever the file has been uploaded completely and the progress and the progress handler function will be fired off every second because whenever the server sends some of the bytes to the web mm, to our script this function will fire off okay we had complete handler we have ajax dot add event listener for error 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 handler H A and handler false for for its bubbling properly. Ajax dot add event listener will listen for a a bot function. Whenever the user bot of upload, this function will fire off. A bot the the error and a bot function will fire off very less time because very less time and whenever they fire off 
we have a function ready to take care of them okay and we will use ajax dot open open method it will take two parameter first the type of data and the type for which we have to send the data and the and the file to which we have to send it we will send it to upload dot php okay and third is ajax dot send send method is used for sending the data we will give this variable form data to it and that form data okay this form data we send the form and in the form we have appended our file okay that's good we have uploaded created our upload function we have to create four more functions name progress handler complete handler error handler and about handler the main function and the head of the function is is uh, progress handler okay progress handler progress handler we will give uh, inside an event event progress handler function we will make a variable called percent percent is equal to event 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 dot load divided by event dot total the event dot load means how much the data has been sent to the server and the event dot total means how much data or the how much size of a file is and we will multiply by its 100 so that we get an exact percentage not a decimal value multiplying by 100 means we are shifting a decimal to place by two places okay function that's fine now we will select um, we will make another div another div inside here that div will be called div id id status it's a it's an empty div because we will be putting data to the uh, to this div where our javascript okay we we'll select that div mm, i should give some space to me to write code status status dot i i double n e r n h t m l file okay don't give it we will do it by leave it i will explain you later percentage we will move our progress bar ahead for this we will select our span not the div we will select span our span which is which is we have given the id of progress will progress and we will style we will um, we will select this st uh, style and we will give it a width width is equal to percent which we have there okay no we should make percent really smooth wow percentage is equal to math dot round math dot round function remove the all the integer all the in it's round our value and remove all the mm, integers after the it's decimal math dot round percentage okay now our percentage is rounded we will use plus we'll use percent whenever that happen our progress bar will move and we will use a complete handler function function complete and whenever the file completed we will show in a status we will alert we will simply alert file uploaded and we will add another function called error handler error handler function will do it will alert an error an error okay we will add another function name name about handler 
we will alert file upload has been aborted okay that's really done that is for this video in the next video we will be coding the upload.php page and we will writing a script for handling our upload and i will showing you how how our upload script is working which we have created now